Of course, we have a few challenges that the people we defeated are still in denial. They have refused to move on. I don't know why. Because what happens if things don't work out, you just move on and start life afresh. And when we brought the finance bill, the finance bill which was enacted by parliament and it became the finance act, they decided to go to the streets using that as an excuse. But I want to tell you that is not the reason. Because the leader of opposition was in government through the handshake. The price of 2 kg unka was 230 shillings. He never called for demonstrations then. We have succeeded in bringing the price of unga from 230 to 170 through production by subsidizing production as opposed to consumption. He is calling for demonstrations, but that is not the reason. The reason is there is in, in, his, in his history. Every election, he has used violence to be allowed to come into government. If you remember, in 1997, when he lost elections, he started demonstrations, and President Moi, the late, brought him into government as Minister for Energy through cooperation. In the year 2007, again, he lost to Mwai Kebake. There were chaos, there were deaths. He was brought into government through the Nusumukata Regiment. Again, in 2017, he lost elections. He brought violence. He sold fear to Uru Kenyatta. And Uru Kenyatta, because he's a Sarah baby, he brought fear. Allowed him into government. You know what happened? The Jubilee agenda was put aside. And that is how we have a debt of 9.6 trillion. He is trying to sell fear to us. So that he can come into government through another handshake. I want to tell you here today that that is not possible because that is giving into blackmail. If you read the penal code, Cap 63, blackmail is an offense, it is a crime. So, sitting with somebody who is blackmailing you is partaking the crime. So those church leaders who are telling us to sit with that man so that he can cool down are asking us to commit a crime. President William and I are not willing to commit a crime. So there will be no hardship. There will be no arrangement. We ask him to take his right for all as a leader of opposition and hold us to account and oversight us and criticize us for good governance because that is the what the constitution provides and that is why we had allowed these demonstrations to go on because the constitution allows the right to picket to demonstrate and all that but article 37 says those demonstrations must be peaceful and the participants must be unarmed what we have seen is violence, is chaos, and the country was almost burning. So we made a decision that that character has never done a peaceful demonstration. And any demonstration he does, we will end up in chaos and violence. So we have said it will not happen. And in those three days, that matter was dealt with conclusively. They had called for one for Wednesday. I have told they have been postponed. They have postponed. There is no postponement. You cannot postpone something that will not happen. <laughs> it's just trying to please the supporters. So I want to assure you. I want to assure you that there is no political problem in Kenya at all. The people on the 9th of August made a decision. And the will of the people prevailed. The losers went to the Supreme Court as per the Constitution and they were told they have no case. And they moved on, they didn't have a problem. They only came to say there is a problem six months later. Somebody cannot steal your cow 
and you find it is not there and you are okay then six months later you say your car has been stolen this is not possible so i want to assure you that kenya is stable kenya is secure the government is in full control and the matter of those demonstrations have been brought to a closure it will not happen again and we want to appeal to everybody to go back to work and i want to say in all fairness in all fairness i think it is wrong for you to ask other people's children to go and fight the police in the streets and get killed when your own children you have sent them to the east african legislative assembly to go and legislate because you have you can you know what you do if you think this thing is good and real let your children be in the forefront but you cannot use the children of poor people to throw stones to fight policemen to loot to destroy property to get killed to get harmed yet your own children are not there and in all fairness i've had other saying that their work now is to protect their family and their children and it is good everybody should protect his family and his children but who will protect the children of the poor people that is what the president must do he must protect the millions of children whose fathers and mothers have no capacity to protect them he must protect them because then they have no money to buy guns if you can buy guns for your children to protect themselves that's okay but what about those parents who cannot afford to buy guns to protect their children the government must use the guns that they have to protect those children and that is what is happening so that we live in a in a society where there is equality and everybody has a chance to make a decent living and everybody must be given a chance whether you are rich whether you are poor everybody given a chance can be somebody someday even you ourselves here you are from all different backgrounds but you are here in rome today in europe having a nice time because there is a god in heaven and everybody given a chance can bring him or herself here to rome all we need to do is create a good environment for the people of kenya to prevail and people when they work hard they pray to god they will definitely succeed so i don't want to go beyond there our government is bottom up the leader spoke but they didn't tell us their problems probably because they were asked by the ambassador to speak they don't want to say anything that can be a bit uncomfortable but i'm here now so you are in no danger i want now we open the floor to the ordinary people those who are the officials speaking here they have spoken very well because i'm here i would like to know what challenges you have is that not right and you speak we can give a several people to tell us if there is something you think the embassy can do to make life much better if you think there is something our government in Nairobi can do to make life much better it is good you tell us because we are here and since i don't come here every day take advantage that i'm here and tell us and tell us what is it you think our mission here in rome can do to make your life better what is it that you think we can do in nairobi to make your life better are you having some challenges that you think the government can intervene and solve them for you because if i don't do that this engagement would uh, will not be meaningful because i also need to hear all the good things you tell us so that we continue doing them where you think we need to do things differently you tell us so that we are able to make those those changes with those very many remarks let me introduce my delegation this is uh, Ezekiel Machogo he is our minister our our cabinet secretary for education 
He was my boss, now I'm his boss. That's the way life works. He was, uh, he was a district commissioner in Yandarwa when I was a DO. I used to salute him, now he salutes me. You are the mother of the and I'm going to We have our governor, Bwanasang, the governor of Nandi. He is doing the second term. So, when you are in Kibaliza, you will have to go back to the house. You are in your last term. Then we have uh, Dr. Chris Kipto. He is a principal secretary and the national treasury. He is the one who is looking after our coffers. You are also his boss. <laughs> now he is your boss. <laughs> then, of course, we have uh, Pastor Dokas Rigadi. Uh, the, mother, the mother of my children. She is uh, her head all the time, the boy child. Yeah? I hope the boy child is not in trouble here in Italy. If he is in trouble, I can leave her behind to sort it out. Uh, is there anybody else? So, um, is there now? We can get a few people to ski. Eh? If there's something you think, yes, my friend, what be microphone? But yeah, you will. Uh,